Tomo News presents Lightning Strikes. Peruvian soccer player survives getting struck by lightning. Watch this. And now a closer look. Who would have thought that this Peruvian soccer player, Joao Contreras, who had been reported dead by the media, is now safe and sound? The 21 year old player for Team Sport Aguila was on the field during a Copa Peru semi final match against Fuerza Minor last Tuesday. Contreras said a doctor later told him the lightning slashed through his face, going down his right side to his chest and stomach before exploding at his right ankle. Play was halted because several other players were also affected. Contreras woke up in the hospital and realized his jersey was torn up and both of his legs were numb. According to Contreras, quote, At that moment I was dead, did not feel my legs. It was something inexplicable. I had the fright of my life. Right now, I feel like I've been reborn. Man survives getting struck by lightning. Ryan Cross, a family man from Nampa, Idaho, was struck by lightning last Sunday during a camping trip in Boise with friends. Cross's friends reported that they got caught in a storm during the trip. It began hailing heavily and the men scrambled to find shelter. Ryan took refuge under a tree and started using his cell phone, hoping to sit the storm out. A lightning bolt struck Cross directly and he fell unconscious. His clothes were ripped from his body. A horrible burn trail was scorched onto his skin. The bolt struck him in the head and exited through his back. Cross's friends rushed him to the St. Alphonsus Medical Center. Doctors found bleeding in his brain and feared that he could be paralyzed. His wife Heather stayed by his side until he regained consciousness. Ryan Cross is lucky. He is now recovering and is not paralyzed. Did you know that the odds of getting struck by lightning is 1 in 300,000 in any given year? Yeah, that might sound reassuring, but don't forget that there are more than 6 billion people on the planet. And the fact that more than 100 lightning bolts strike the Earth each second. People who spend more time outdoors are usually in greater risk of being struck by lightning. Hooray for introverts! Just uh, don't go near conductive objects or take a shower during a thunderstorm. Stay safe, wherever you are. Lightning punches hole in nose of Denver-bound plane. Passengers aboard an Iceland air flight experienced a shocking and unnerving jolt midway through the transatlantic flight. The Denver-bound Boeing 757 aircraft departed from Reykjavik's Kivlavik's International Airport and was traveling through severe weather conditions. When early on during the flight, it was suddenly struck by lightning. The plane's pilots were aware of the strike but didn't quite realize the full extent of the damage after the plane had landed. One passenger aboard said the sudden jolt shook the aircraft, making everyone on board tense and anxious. Although aviation experts say the plane should have turned around, the plane continued the seven-hour trip and landed safely in Denver some 3,740 miles later. Despite a massive hole in the aircraft's nose, a spokesperson for Iceland said the plane's notification systems were unaffected. Aviation experts say that lightning strikes to commercial planes aren't as bad as they sound and happen one to five times per year. Tree plus lightning bolt equals awesomely destructive fire. An Arkansas man captured footage of the wreckage of a tree after it was hit by lightning. Brent Hager of Springdale, Arkansas noticed a flash of lightning nearby on June 12. It wasn't until hours later that Hager's wife noticed smoke coming from the nearby pasture. Hager took his four-wheeler to check it out. That's when he found the burning tree. Hager later wrote that they knew the tree was already a lost cause, so they watched it burn until it finally split in half and fell. Lightning storms are common in the state and have been known to start fires. Last spring, lightning struck a church and set it ablaze. Firefighters were able to put out the flames, but were unable to save the church. During the same storm, two houses and an oil well were also struck and caught fire. If there's a lesson to be learned from this, it's uh, don't mess with Mother Nature. Teens survive lightning strike because they were holding hands. Love is electrifying, in this case, quite literally. A California teen couple was out getting a burger last Thursday when they were struck by lightning, but amazingly, they survived. 
Dylan Corliss and Lexi Vargo were walking along the tree-lined streets of Claremont one day, hand in hand, not noticing an approaching thunderstorm, when lightning suddenly struck the two lovebirds directly, slamming them both to the ground. Uh, does Mother Nature frown upon public display of affection? Terrified, Dylan and Lexi got up slowly, confused as to what had just happened, and were <clears throat> shocked when a passerby told them that they had just been hit by lightning. Later, their doctor told them that they survived the lightning strike because they were holding hands, thus diffusing the electrical current that ran through their bodies. Dylan and Lexi were unharmed, save for minor headaches and some muscle pain. Guess this was a spark in the relationship that they didn't ask for. Ah, young love. Man blown out of boots by lightning strike survives. Doctors say getting struck by lightning is a 1 in 700,000 chance and very few would survive. Have you ever thought about your chances of surviving if this ever happened to you? It was a sunny Saturday afternoon in Noonan, south of Atlanta, when Sean O'Connor was raking leaves in his backyard. He didn't notice the sudden change in weather, and by the time he realized, it was too late. He was struck by lightning so forcefully that he tasted blood in his mouth and his leg hairs burn. Meanwhile, his boots, one of which was smoking, were across the driveway. Turns out the lightning strike blew Sean straight out of his boots and zapped his heart so badly that it caused irregular heartbeats. He called his wife and filmed his bleeding tongue and smoking boots to prove what had happened. His wife later rushed him to the hospital where he was treated for an irregular heartbeat and kept for observation overnight. Denver man hit by lightning while filming storm. Arvada man Chad Greenlees is one lucky person. The Denver dad is counting his lucky stars after a lightning bolt literally struck too close to home. Greenlees was at his house on the 8,400 block of West 78th Circle during a severe storm on Monday when he thought he would go outside to get a closer look. He went into what he thought was the safety of his garage and began filming with his cell phone when BAM! This happened. A lightning bolt struck the ground right next to him. Click on the link in the description to see the actual footage. Greenlees says that he only lived to tell the tale because the bolt didn't actually hit him. Hearing the almighty noise, Greenlees' 13-year-old daughter, Ilea, rushed into the garage where she found her unconscious dad convulsing on the floor. She called 911, who told her not to touch her dad for fear that he may still be carrying a charge. Greenlees woke up a while later in his hallway, surrounded by paramedics. Luckily, he has just a few bruises and a bump on his head to show for his close encounter with Mother Nature. But he added that he has learned his lesson, vowing to watch any future storms from a much safer location. It's more fun than you ever thought. Yeah, because people can come in. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. Do we have internet yet? Yeah, we do. Yeah. I got that. Six the grand dollar this man. The last thing you expect to happen in the water. A 34-year-old Belgian former footballer was unfortunately met with an untimely death while surfing in Bali, Indonesia recently, but not in the way most people might think. Ex-footballer Denis Andre Dassault was surfing last Sunday when tragedy struck, literally. An Australian expatriate who witnessed the entire thing said that he and his brother were taking a surfing lesson themselves when they heard a deafening crack from a distance of about 25 meters behind them. The sound was of lightning striking Dasul and his instructor, who were sitting on a surfboard on the water. Many local residents immediately rushed to help. Someone administered CPR and the instructor made it, but Dasul unfortunately did not survive. 